Well, tonight a Milford teenager is helping people take part in community service. And she got that idea after participating in MIT's Leadership Training Institute. She's hoping what she's made will help other people discover how good it feels to give back. Meet changemaker Elsie Sutherland. School just ended, but Milford High School junior Elsie Sutherland's already done with her homework, and now she's on to her website. It's very conversational because it's not this super formal thing. Community Connector is a one-stop shop for public service, linking people who want to volunteer with organizations that need help. You can click on the website, there's a little description, and then a little more. I can just go on this site mm -hmm. and sign up for this right now? Yeah. Have you always been a helper? Yeah, I would definitely say so. With her website, she's helping other people give back, listing upcoming charity events, adding her own articles about the nonprofits, and describing each service project. People want to know, oh, this organization is this, but also what am I going to be doing? What am I going to be contributing? Associate Principal Bill Chaplin says her contribution sets a standard. She's modeling what our core values are here, you know, at Milford High School and, and, and across the community. And discovering her own passions. After researching children across America, Elsie became a volunteer. She leads kids in games, crafts, and reading almost every week. I don't have any younger siblings, so I kind of get that experience of being able to take care of little kids and kind of uh, help them with their imagination. The next event on her site is especially meaningful because it supports the Massachusetts Breast Cancer Coalition. My mother passed from uh, colon cancer in 2013, so cancer is definitely a personal thing. These are Elsie's photos of last year's MBCC events. The group's using this one to promote the June fundraiser. The images capturing the togetherness we missed out on for a while. I thought it was great in terms of uh, you know what we just went through, you know, in terms of COVID and, and coming out of it, and we're really just kind of building momentum now. So it's all about connection and taking pride in quiet leadership. One of my teachers asked for an autograph, which is kind, <laughs> kind of funny. Does it sometimes surprise you how great the need is? Definitely. So. I am fortunate enough to not be in those situations where I, I need assistance from those organizations, but it definitely has helped like, open my eyes. An awareness that comes through on a site that's both public and personal. Does anyone help you with this? Um, I wanted to recruit people in the future for when I go to college, but uh, at the moment it's just me, which I don't mind at all because I'm very, very perfectionist. She knows how she wants it, and it is working. Elsie is talking with guidance counselors in schools in nearby Hopkinton and Hopedale about expanding the connector's reach. Remarkable. Rem and the motivation, you can tell, it comes from deep inside her soul. Right. She's been volunteering since she was much younger, and she really loves sharing the joy of it with other people. Incredible stuff.